Hi and welcome to part 2 of the episode, on how to make 2D Metroidvania game from scratch. A lot of work has been done over the past days. I've gotten a lot of good ideas and one of them you can already see on your screens right now. Sadly, I don't have much time for absolutely every single idea but I'm gonna do my best, because otherwise release can be delayed till next year. First of all I started by implementing a menu screen with a fancy pixelated illustration in the background. Here you can see design process in action. At this moment there is not much in here, everything is working well. Here I'm just adjusting some elements, such as fog speed, and castle position, according to our eye line. Do you see this giant sprawling castle shrouded in fog? This is a link to a popular vampire game series. And from here our journey begins. Being a fan of Castlevania series I decided to set game in a dark gothic fantasy style. I already drawn some astonishing assets, and add some parallax effect to them. And after a couple of hours we now have this gorgeous gothic castle landscape and a smooth parallax effect, that's make sick anybody. I also made gothic style UI, and added some more settings to the game, such as music and FX toggle buttons, and reset progress feature. And it was tricky but I also implemented gamepad feature to interact with the UI. It's time to rewrite some of the key features. It took a lot of time, but in the end we can now control Mary not only from the keyboard, but also from the gamepad. Also, new dialogue system was implemented. Dialogues in video games exist as the foremost way to guide the player through the game. They are there, to keep the player involved, to keep the story moving. These conversations can take the form of quests, hints or handoff conversations that introduce players to new characters and locations. And from now I can push any dialogue boxes anytime and anywhere in the game. And this is a big step to storytelling. Lastly, I created some test level, add camera movement and some sound effects. And that's all for now. Thanks to all for watching. If you like what I do, please hit like button. See ya in the next episode.